Does that mean that you're gonna like delete everything that we just did? We are beer blogging from the yards in Philadelphia. I would like to find the barrel that it was aged in and take a little swimming pool dive in there and then have you seal it up. Sweetie Weedy, here we are at the yards. Sweetie Weedy, are we here at the yards in Philadelphia? Yes, we are. They had a flight that was all dark beers. It is called the Dark Side Flight, and so that's what we picked. And then we also got a small pour, Fit Viper. So first, the Dark Side Flight, we have a porter. It has no other name. Roasty and robust English style porter. They have a vanilla love stout, rich and elegant stout with vanilla beans. Then they have Big John's, bold and roasty double lager. So a dark lager, which I've gotten very fond of. And then a barrel aged imperial stout, strong and sultry, 13.8%. So this is going to be an interesting tasting. First, we're going to try the regular stout sort. Smells very mild got a high high level of bitterness it's really nice in tongue nice and cold it's got a bite on the tongue and it's nice and cold it's nice it's very bubbly almost like a seltzer amount of bubbly stout from yards brewing in philly stout sweetie weedy yes i most love that i would say that if i were in philly all the time and i had lots of stouts and lots of the great philly cheesesteak stuff they serve here yeah philly cheesesteak egg rolls i'd be much more stout with stout as in more stout in alcohol as opposed to a few places we have been have something called a mild do i have to come up with a whole new joke now oh, yeah, yeah. Fine. i don't Check. know if this has any more calories than any other beer but, but i called it stout maybe i messed you up shall we pretend shall you smack it down again and say something about a porter Porter at Yards in Philly. I would very much port any her for a porter at, at, at the Yards in Philly. Would we support her with drinking a lot of would their porter? Would support her a porter named Porticia? We're a, we're a supporter of porters. I'm Yard. sorry I messed you up on that one. So that is a <laughs> well, porter. Well, I literally asked you four times, what's it called? And you said, it's called Stout. And I said, uh, oh, so it's called the Yard Stout. No, it's just Stout. No, it's just said, Porter. No, no, no. The name yeah, is yeah. Stout. Next, I will tell you, is the Vanilla Love Stout, which they only make seasonally. This one is Vanilla Love Stout. Oh, yeah, you really taste the vanilla. It's not real sweet. It's an interesting combination of not being too sweet at all, but you really get an intense waft of vanilla. It's sort of, I would say, thin-bodied. It's interesting. It's more aromatic of the vanilla in the mouth than when you smell it and try to pick up the scent. What's it called, sweetie? It is called Vanilla Love Porter. No, no, no! Vanilla Love Stout. Uh, Do you see a trend here? This is only her first beer vlog of the day. Because I... Do you see a trend? Vanilla Love Stout at the Yards in Philly. Vanilla Loves Stout. Yes, Stout. At Yards in Philly. I most enjoyed that. I have grown up all my life borderline vanilla albino, white as a sheet, a ghost-like creature. So I have always been very vanilla, and I love that stout that's not a porter. Okay. Unlike I... all the other stouts that are porters. Oh, we... now we have something entirely different. Something that you don't see as much is a dark lager. They fall into that category of all the beers you drank in college were lagers, but they do make these dark lagers, I have found, and they are extremely interesting. And they have sort of the nutty darkness without having bitterness. This is called Big Johns, and it's not Jaws. It's like it's like Jaws with an N on it. Johns. Also a seasonal beer. Bold and roasty double lager, 8% alcohol. Oh, interesting. Got a sweetness. Tiny bubbles. Got some tiny bubbles. Tiny bubbles, but less harsh on the tongue than the porter was with its tiny bubbles. Just yummy. Very yummy. A little roasty without being, without reminding me of coffee or chocolate, which some do. It's just delicious. Big John at the Yards in Philly. Big John. Sweetie Weedy, I love that very much. I would yeah. say on an evening where it would want to sit back and watch an Apple Vision Pro mo movie late at night, like 2001, I might have a wonderful yawn at the ch Great John's that I was sipping down well, since it's while 8%. watching 2001. Great John is great for big yawns okay. in a wonderful way watching 2001 since Apple Vision Pro. Since it's 8% alcohol, you would uh, yawn after a while. This is probably going to blow us away. It's almost 14% alcohol. This is the barrel-aged imperial stout. It's got that kind of 
whoa, that's very complex. This one is what sometimes they have like an untapped who does not sponsor us. Yet. Yeah, this sort of touches your tongue with a body to it. You know, it's not thin, full bodied in a mouthfeel kind of sense. And then you're getting all kinds of sort of sweet, but not too sweet and not bitter flavors. I wouldn't say it's as intense as, I, as the ones I call raisiny. And then on the very back end, you're like, oh yeah, I can taste the alcohol in this. Barrel aged imperial stout. You're not gonna get the full effect if you chug it. I, mean, I would take it in two chugs if I were you. Barrel aged imperial stout at the yards in Philly. Sweetie, sweetie, I most enjoyed that. I enjoyed it so much that I would like to find the barrel that it was aged in and take a little swimming pool dive in there and then have you seal it up and then roll around and then <laughs> go sleep in the barrel aged Imperial oh, Stout. More fun than a barrel of monkeys. Does that mean that you're gonna like delete everything that we just did? <laughs> We've had monkeys in barrel. <laughs>